Okay, this is probably going to be the shortest video that I ever do for Algebra 2. So, I already have everything written out, so just follow the balancing pencil. Okay, this is estimating with scientific notation. Sometimes your answers are going to look different in the back of the book, and as long as they're close, that's fine because we are estimating. So, here's how you do it. We have these numbers that we're multiplying together. First thing you're going to do is put each number in scientific scientific notation with only one digit. So 16 is closest to 20, but we're not going to put 20. We're going to put 2 times 10 to the first power. So you're going to round it to what's closest, and you just use the first digit, and then you put the rest in scientific notation. Here's another one, 5,280. Well, it's closest to 5,000, and 5,000 in scientific notation is 5 times 10 to the third. We're really just moving our decimal point from here, 1, 2, 3, places to the left, so it's going to be positive 3. This is here, this is the same one, and I think I forgot to write another one. I think there was supposed to be another one in here, so let's put that in there. 5,280. Okay, so there's three of those. One, two, three, and three of these. And then we have 12. Well, 12 is closest to 10, and we're not going to use two digits, we're only going to use one, so it will be 1 times 10 to the first, and we have three of these, 1, 2, 3, and three of these, 1, 2, 3. So what we did was we took, and we took normal numbers and we wrote them in scientific notation, rounding them to the nearest 10, or 100, or 1,000. Then, we can multiply all the number parts together, so we're going to take 2 times 5 times 5 times 5 times, and um, that's it. So here we go, we have those, times 10, and we add up our 10. So we have 1, um, 3 is 4, plus 3 is 7, plus 3 is 10, 11, 12, 13, 10 to 13. Multiply all your number parts out, and you get 250 times 10 to the 13th. But we're going to just move it over into scientific notation. We're moving it over two places to the left. So your final answer is 2.5 times 10 to 15. So we move it to the left so we can add 2 onto here. Hopefully this isn't difficult. I'm not rushing through it for you. Let's try one more. Okay, this one's actually in the same form that we had our scientific notation problems before. But this time, just look for the keyword, estimate. So here we have some things, and some are in science, none of them are really in scientific notation. They're just written with 10 to some power, so it looks a little scientific -y. First thing you're going to do is we're going to round. This is going to be rounded to 4,000. This is going to be rounded, we're going to round this up to 5. We're going to round this one up to 3. And this one, we're going to bring this down here and make it a 7. So let me show you what that's going to look like. It's going to look like that. So this is 4. So it's going to be rounded to 4,000. So it's 4 times 10 to the third. So we're moving over 1, 2, 3. So we get that. This one, we're moving it. We're going to change, make this a 5. And we're going to move it over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to drop all these and just have our 5. And since we moved it over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, to the left, we're going to add 5 to negative 14, and that gives us negative 9. And we just do the same thing for all these. We're going to move it over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is going to round up to 3, and we're going to lose these, so it's going to be 3. 0 0.00000. So that's the same as 3 times 10 to the fifth. And then finally, this one is going to round, we're going to move it to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we moved it in the negative direction. We're going to ditch those, round it off, and we're, we're adding 4, we're subtracting 4 because we moved it in the negative direction. So negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9. Now the last step is we need to multiply the 4 times the 5, and we're going to get 20, and 10 to the 3rd times 10 to the negative 9th, you add your exponent, so it's 10 to the negative 6, and in the bottom, 3 times 7 is 21, we add our exponents on our 10s and we get negative 4. This part's a little bit tricky, 
20 divided by 21 <coughs> is close to 1, so I just made it 1. We bring up the negative 4, make it positive 4, so we get 10 to the negative 2. And this is approximate, so you should put these little thingies, that means approximately, not exactly, but equal to this. And that's how you round with scientific notation. Oh, and I forgot, um, tomorrow, Thursday, might be today for you, Wednesday I mean, is Mr. D. My's birthday, November 14th.